All right, so we're going to update ESX host here with uh, HP custom bundle and some critical updates. So for the custom bundle, we got to go to the HP site here and funnel down the version that you want. And we are going to grab 7.0 update 3, take us to the proper spot on the VMware website where we can get the ISO that has all the HP drivers in it. And here you can see that. So I'm just going to download this. Back in vCenter and baselines, you can see I have a baseline already created. It says ESX 703, HP Custom, and it's an upgrade. And you can see I have two different ones to select from. One is the one we just downloaded, and one is the old one. And they're located here. This is where you would import them. So import the ISOs here under the import ISO section of the Lifecycle Manager. And then once you import it, you can go back to this uh, baseline here and you can add the updated ISO to it. And this way you always have this baseline available and you just change out the ISO each time. Makes it easy. You'll see why when we get to where I attached it to the cluster. Now for a custom, uh, for, the, for the critical updates, uh, we're gonna go to see what we got here. We got the, the patch, their settings under patch setup. You can see the one, move this over and, and this one right. Here it's for the patches to cut the critical patches. So we're going to turn that on if you want to enable that. And then we're going to sync updates. This is going to pull all the latest uh, critical updates down that I don't have applied yet. You might already have this enabled, but I disable it because I don't like every time I reboot vCenter that it goes to run a sync. So I disable it and only enable it when I need it. I think it might take some time. Once it's done, you go to the updates bar of the Lifecycle Manager and you can see, you can see all the, the latest updates that we just pulled down. These are the critical patches that we want. I only do uh, the bundle patches from HP and the critical updates as they come out. So here we see um, in the cluster, I attached two baselines already. Just attach, attach baseline, and you get the critical and the one that you created for the bundle. So we're gonna go to the bundle one. I'm gonna check compliance on both. You see already the head doesn't run in here, but this takes a few minutes to run through the cluster. And you can run both patches, just not at the same time. Um, the, the HP custom image is older, so I'm going to run that one first. And then I'm going to put all the critical patches on top of that, so just one at a time. So you can see up top, it shows two non-compliant baselines. And that's the critical list patches that you see at the bottom there, and then the custom HP bundle. All right, so compliance check is done. I run it again, it just took a little while. Um, now we're gonna check the pre-check remediation. This only takes like a second. Forms you have any messages you might need to know about. Nothing here important to me. So 
and I'm going to check off the custom bundle and I am going to remediate. Set the terms, okay. And it's telling me what it is, what the build number is. And I'm going to hit remediate, and this will take a few minutes. And it'll reboot the server and install all the custom HP files that we need. You can see that the console booting up after it, after it applies. Now we'll go back in and it's going to automatically check the compliance. We'll give it another couple minutes. And there we go. So now there's only one non-compliant baseline. And see at the bottom that the HP is now compliant. So I'm gonna tick off the looks patches for the critical ones. Compliant. I'm gonna remediate that. Install 10 updates, and here's what they're gonna install. And remediate. And this is more of the same. So, then apply this, reboot the server, and recheck compliance, and everything should come up good. See the new build number now. There you have it. No non compliant baselines attached. So we're done. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.